I'm back with another suite that I decorated for a transition house for women and children. And this week I'm sharing 13 styling tips you can use in your home right now. So let's get started. Welcome back to my channel. We are at Wilma's Transition Society where I've decorated three more suites so I'm gonna walk you through this one for this episode, suite number two, because there are so many decorating tips and tricks that we can learn from really good styling. So all of the furniture was basically either donated or we found it on Marketplace, and then I added all the styling. That was my contribution to this project was all the accessories, the lamps, the art and starting with the inspiration for this room. So this room had this taupe sofa that I believe was donated along with the brown love seat. And one day by the side of the road a couple weeks ago, they were emptying out a storage locker and lo and behold, there was a free sign on all these tables. So I drove by and this fabulous sunflower mural, of course I had to have a room with yellow, my favorite color, was there free by the side of the road. So I knew that would be just a fabulous focal point in this space, kind of picks up the brown love seat. And then we actually bought this little um, ottoman, which is great to have in the room, but the color was bad. So I found this really great faux fur throw. These are available at many stores, Home Goods, Home Sense. They're really soft. Faux fur has come such a long way. So it can be used as a throw, but also on a bed. Looks great here on this ottoman and hides the bad color, which is important. Then when I was shopping, I found this fabulous high-end looking lamp. Now the taller and the bigger scale a lamp is, it always makes every, like it just always looks expensive. So I couldn't leave it in this store and I was like, okay, you know what? I, I think it kind of goes with the turquoise from the outside. So it's a little bit more muted, clean and dirty, as we would say in my training. But then we found these pillows that picks up the clean and the dirty. That's the thing. When you make a mistake with decorating, you just repeat it somewhere quietly. Nobody will notice. So that's what I did. And then I had this little screen in my last um, living room and it's been just sitting in my accessory room. So I introduced it here and it kind of warms up the space and repeats the brown again. The curtains were from Ikea. The thing you need to know about um, off the shelf curtains is the way to make them look expensive is to hang the rod high, make sure you have the rod. You know, it's like, it should always be like 10 inches minimum past the windows so that then your curtains sit off the window instead of covering up the window. So that's what we did with the gold. Now I would have liked a brighter yellow, but I couldn't find anything in the off the shelf world. We had basically two weeks to get these three suites done. And I, you know, have a full-time business that I'm running, right? So I did this on the weekends. So always having a lamp like this in a corner, in a dark corner, it just feels like a window. These are from Ikea and they're fabulous. And then I also found this from the side of the road for free. And I had to throw it in because it kind of picks up the yellow and then I, we found these little vintage mirrors that kind of pick up the poppies. So pretty. And then every suite has these fabulous dogwoods that I found from Ikea. Three of them in a vase. Make sure that when you introduce fake florals that you put them in an opaque vase so that they don't look fake, right? The minute you put fake florals in a glass vase, you can see that they're fake and it's not as good. So. Of course, every suite has a lamp because we want all the corners of the space to be lit up. And at night, you don't need to have your overheads on. What you always need is a lamp in the kitchen. So this was also donated. So green was the other color 
that inspired the color scheme here. Greens are more forgiving. You can see the greens in this space are like, they're clean and they're muddy, but it's okay. So that is the living room. So let's go see the two bedrooms. So here we have a little hallway moment, a mirror to check your lipstick, a little flower and a little doorway to a better life. And now here we are in the mom's room. Now this was a donated, okay, let's just, let's just like pause for a moment before me what these rooms look like, okay, was the institutional looking gray frame, gray bedding, and a black dresser. And that's what these rooms got. Maybe a donated piece of art slapped up against the wall, right? So this was donated and I could not get past the big cabbage, tulips, whatever. So I realized, wait, 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 they're mint green on the other side. So I turned it around. That was the other piece that was donated. And so I decided to turn this room into more of a Zen kind of, you know, beachy theme because of that uh, beachy art that picks up the mint. So then I bought these kind of watery looking gray pillows to pick up the rocks and repeat the gray. And always notice that I've got a short fat lamp on top of a high boy dresser. That's always important. And the thing you're going to notice when you're, when you're walking through all these rooms with me is there really, I mean, it's not like I'm styling up the place in a big way, right? Cause these are going to be occupied. So they need to be, they need to be dressed more like a hotel, but each space has a gourd lamp that picks up the colors in the room in some way. And that just makes a huge difference to creating like, I mean, even if you never turn the lamp on, on an end table, you gotta have one there. It just belongs there. What else are you gonna put there for decor? All right, moving on to the navy and red room. So this is, this has two bunk beds and the strawberry. Okay, come on, like how fun is this strawberry? Super fun. So um, then, it sort of inspired the accent color in this room. And I found these outdoor pillows, thank goodness, because it was such a bright red. It was really hard to find off the shelf pillows in that color. And years ago, years ago, okay, I had these drapes made for a client's living room. They were just side panels. And when they went up, look at how cream they are compared to the, the white and the blue bedding. Now, Obviously, we're gonna we're ignoring that here. It's a transition house. Having curtains is better than not having curtains. And I thought they've been sitting in a bag for years and years and years. And the day that I came home, by the way, after the drapes went up and they were too cream, and I said to my client after 10 minutes, I said, you know what? I'll be replacing those drapes. I went home and my wife said, didn't you write a book about white? I said, shut up. Anyway, so yeah, so they look super fun in here. Another gourd lamp. And then someone donated the parrots. So aren't they super fun? Yeah, a little donated dresser. This was donated and the art was donated. So that was the other pieces that inspired the red palette. And then here is the super cute bathroom. Now, everyone at Wilma's, I was real tired of looking at this institutional looking blue floor, but in fact, this blue floor is not a bleak gray. So what you have to do, if you've got a color that you're not in love with, you must repeat it in your decorating or it just looks like you're ignoring it. So truly, I mean, we found these Ralph Lauren shower curtains with this sweet little piece of art. And that's just all this room really needs super cute.
If you like this content, please like and subscribe below. And also please post the tip that you're gonna use right now in the comments. See you next time.